I shouldn't really be here. Like I shouldn't really be like a half Japanese, half English convert Muslim living in Malaysia. But it's yeah, it's just it's just, it works. Um, we're here in the Masjid Jamek area um, because the, there's a big mosque close by Masjid Jamek, and then it's kind of turned into this sprawling uh, market of like different hawkers and like lots of colourful things that you can see and buy and things like that. You just get so many different colours and like so many different textures. As a designer, like just seeing this kind of stuff is so, um, you just get like a buzz off it because it's so vibrant. Being a hijabi, like wearing the hijab, you see all these kind of different things that I didn't even know existed, like the different sort of like headbands and inner scarves and things like that. And coming from like a, a rural village where I was like, the ethnic population was just me. Coming from a like totally non-Muslim area to all of a sudden like that's what it is like that's the culture here it's, it's totally different but it's amazing like getting immersed in it. I like her. You like her? She's you know so her? pretty. Yes, yeah. of course I know him. Yeah. I know. She's famous. She's uh, Hana Tajima, right? Really? Uh, <laughs> This, the scarf style that I'm wearing now is like the Hana Tajima style. And so I was kind of see girls like wearing the same style. And it's like, it's really bizarre to think that they've kind of seen me do it and then that they're doing it. And then even more so when it's someone that like won't recognize me, like they won't know who I am, but they'll be wearing the same scarf style. So it's kind of like translated and like become, become theirs. And this girl is kind of like, she's kind of wearing one of the styles that I do. <laughs> yeah. but, um, my, when my aunt used to live in Malaysia, she used to send my mum back um, like tops or even just fabrics, like cushion covers of these kind of like really vibrant prints. And it would just be like opening up the present and being like, oh my god, it's like a whole other world in here. It's, like, it's, it's kind of, it's very, um, you get a totally different taste of like a part of the world. It's like, it's very Malaysian. It's, yeah, it was really exciting. <laughs> Uh, can I take one picture yeah, with you? Can you please? <laughs> Thank you. Why, why do you like Hannah's design so much? Uh, because it's Muslim. Uh, I love Hannah the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's, I, I, I couldn't even begin to describe it. It's, I, it's, it feels like something that's really divorced from me. Like I don't... I don't really understand it. It's definitely a culture, and it's really like it's so sweet. Like they're re always really, really sweet about it, um, and it's it's fine. Like I really like meeting the people that are kind of are supporting me, like doing what I love. Like it's it's an amazing thing, but it's just it's totally weird. I think for me, self-expression is like a really important thing, and like even in terms of um, like being a Muslim, to be able to express yourself is something like that's a really amazing thing and something that we shouldn't just kind of yeah I think there shouldn't be such like a stigma attached to it and it's yeah being part of the the movement to break away from it is a really like because it's a new thing as well it's like it's really interesting it's a really interesting time Uh, we are in Kampong Baru, where is the this is the, the main street, where is the hearts of uh, where we can have a lot of uh, Malay food around uh, the street. This is like a mackerel. This is the jacket uh, fish. Uh, this is string gray. It's more like a buffet over here, uh, where we can take some uh, rice over there, and then we can pick. Whichever food over here, I probably will uh, recommend the chicken korma, which is uh, like a curry, but uh, it uses a different kind of spice. If you have some rice and some fish and some uh, veggie like uh, this person has, most probably you will be charged around seven, eight ringgit. That's about two US dollars. Yeah. So this one is more towards the local people and then uh, I'm going to take you to Bijan where the Malay food is 
uh, been refined and served in a fine dining way. In the Malaysian cuisine, we use a lot of the lemongrass, turmeric, uh, ginger and shallot and also for the bird eye chili and red chili. So we mix all the ingredients and then we put in the blender. So uh, we blended all the ingredients to make it really fine. Okay, we start cooking. And then with the same oil, we just fry some onion and the one that we blend just now, all the ingredients that we blend. And this is the durian. And durian stands for the smell and the flavor. We have some coconut milk here. And we put some sugar and some salt. I learned more of the Malay food from my grandma and my mom. So this is the finished product.